Smith. Blows by Odom and drops it in. Maya Smith with eight. Pleasant Grove is finally on the board after six scoreless minutes. Oh, nice backdoor feed and a look again. Smith the rejection. Lassiter inside and a rebound. Nice stick back by Nelson. And now Jasper will ask for a pause. It's a 30, but we'll take it with Coach Laney on the NFHS Network. Five thirty-seven to go in the third quarter. Jasper up six and Odom to inbound. Looks and finds Rigsby. Mercer, pocket picked. Nelson inside, no, but Rigsby the call. So at the line for a couple free throws, this will be Amaya Nelson for a team that was one of five in the first half, now one of six from the free throw line. And this one finds a home. And a loose ball will belong to Pleasant Grove. Nelson points out directions. Lassiter and Rigsby, good dive. That makes some volleyball coaches proud. Hollingsworth out to Mercer. Jasper up by five. Under five minutes to go in the third. Odom. Handoff nearly lost. Hollingsworth, the runner off balance. Odom puts it back. She's got nine. Nelson walks it across, down seven. Smith, head fakes Rigsby, and the shot line drive bounces over the rim. Harrow gets pushed in the back. It'll go on Davidson as Shantae Monday will check back in the game, and that will go Skyler Lassiter. And Mercer lost it and foul from behind with Stokes. Strong play from the 5'10 sophomore. As Mercer has just now picked up her third. And two free throws coming for Kiaria Stokes. Pleasant Grove still struggling. At the free throw line, now two of eight. Two of nine. 
Harold tips out the rebound. Inbounds, Tamiah Smith, turn around, drops it in the bucket. He's got 10. Pleasant Grove down five, Harold, the feed underneath. Oh, good adjustment midair. That's a tough basket, and it's the first one for Hallie Harrell. Wow. Approaching three minutes and 30 seconds to go in this third quarter. Jasper up 31-24. And a floater will bounce in the bucket. Monday's first points of the game. And the second 30-second timeout taken by Pleasant Grove. We'll take it with them on the NFHS Network. After the timeout, Jasper up five. They'll inbound with 3.17 to go in the third. Hollingsworth controls it. Now double teamed, and there's a timeout. That'll be called, and Jasper will take their last 30. Both teams are down to two full timeouts, and that'll be it. Five A Girls Regional Championship on the northwest side here at Wallace State. Have the boys five A after this between Ramsey and Fairfield. Ramsey, the number one team in the state in five A basketball. Rigsby looks for an inbound, and that's a five-second call. Yes, indeed. So now it will be Pleasant Grove basketball. An offensive foul will be called on the Spartans, and it'll be 23, Kiara Stokes. Hollingsworth, a little short. Rebound to Pleasant Grove. This one rolled to Smith. Count it! Twelve for Tamiah Smith. And a chance at one more. That one's the fourth on Hallie Harrell. 
Now they change it, it's on Odom. Free throw converted by Smith and nearly forced a turnover. And the inbound comes, and there's a foul, and that'll be Nelson. It's her third. Bigsby hits it to Mercer. Stolen away, and that's Davidson. Nelson, Monday, head fake. Smith, down low. Tie game. And the outlet is stolen. Enge the kick out. Nelson to reset. Under two minutes to go, and it's tied at 31. Pleasant Grove student section on their feet. And the entry stolen. Mercer pressured. Three defenders in front of her. Tipped and stolen. Nelson for the lead. Mercer, and off on the shot. Corralled by Harrell. Collingsworth the fake. Step back. Looking for help and finds Rigsby. Odom, here she comes. Downhill. Off. Nice, strong rebound from Inge. Nelson content to hold for the last shot. With 25 seconds left, Pleasant Grove is ahead by two, 33-31. Surprisingly, Jasper content to let him have it. Here comes Nelson. By Odom and swatted like a fly. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That one will be remembered. And now comes to Smith, puts it up with 10 seconds and it rolls out. Odom, six seconds left. Over to Hollingsworth. Owen gets tripped up, two seconds at the buzzer. No, sir, not at all. 33-31 after the third and things get chippy. Let's go to the fourth on the NFHS Network.
All right, tempers have calmed down, and we go to a fourth quarter that sees Pleasant Grove ahead by two, 33-31. This will be Amaya Nelson. Monday. Tracking left. Nelson all alone. They go down to Smith. Oh, and a no double dribble, and she'll get it to go. And I think it's because she didn't dribble. And now a hard bump by Monday. I understand the fans being upwards in arms, but Smith never dribbled. It was a smart play to put it on the floor. I, I can understand Pleasant, or excuse me, Jasper fans being unhappy. But I'm going to say the referees made a good call. Because that's a tough place to make one. Mercer, floater, yes! Mercer puts Jasper back down by two. 35-33, Pleasant Grove still ahead. A minute 22 played in the fourth quarter. This is going to be fun. Monday, down low, Stokes off, Smith, yes! Smith has 19. After a 16 to nine third quarter from Pleasant Grove, they're up by four now after those two baskets from her. Odom's three, bottom! Seven, thirty-six. Here we go. Monday. Four check by Mercer. To Smith. High post. Tucks it and goes off the window. 21 for Tamaya Smith, 15 in the second half. Mercer to Harrell, picked off. Nelson down to the ground. Jasper basketball. Five eleven to go in the fourth quarter. Shante Monday will check out, and in comes Carlisha Engay. Boy, every game has been fantastic today. What a way to cap off this tournament. And oh, by the way, there's still one more coming. Crescent Grove still up three. 39 36, Spartans ahead. Each team has two timeouts at their disposal for this final 442 of the game. Davidson. Calling out the signals, and now Rigsby's going to come out to greet her at the volleyball line. Nelson. High screen from Stokes. Smith. She'll just hold on to it. Harold applies pressure. And 
and that's going to be a bump. And if that's Harold, she's done. No, correction, I'm sorry. She would still have one more. It's not anyways, it's Rigsby. That is her second. Monday, who has checked back in. We have to sit down low. Here's Smith going to work again. Oh, and right by Stokes. Costly turnover. Hollingsworth to Mercer. Across to Odom. Here she comes. Rigsby. Now she enters and lays it in, splitting a double team. Jasper call timeout with 3.35 to go in the game. They're down one, 38-39 on the NFHS network. After the timeout, it will be Pleasant Grove basketball up by one with 3.30 to go in the ball game. Monday ahead to Smith. Now whips it around to Nelson. And Pleasant Grove is just going to continue to wind down the clock while Jasper applies pressure. Monday, knives through, Stokes, left it short. Ahead to Odom. Pressure comes, Hollingsworth for three, no. Rebound Smith. Now has to drive through some pressure. And a fancy behind the back pass to Nelson to get out of danger. 2.30 left to go. Pleasant Grove up one, and Rigsby the foul. Rigsby's third. Walter Hicks from Pleasant Grove shouting his instructions, trying to make them clear. I think he's a little frustrated as this one was tipped out by Jaquela Kirk. And as he comes, Nelson to drive, swatted and oh, the foul on Odom, it's her third. Nelson for two. Earth. No. Jasper, or I should say Pleasant Grove, excuse me. 
three of 11 from the free throw line. Three of 12. Hollingsworth to Mercer, shakes off the defense. Out to Rigsby, the kick out, and Odom, here she comes down the lane, head fake, and line drive left short, rebound ricochets out. This will be Enge, excuse me, Monday. Davidson. Picked up by Harrell, who has two fouls left on her limit. A minute 40 to go. We have gone two scoreless minutes with this score of 39-38, Pleasant Grove. 